what's going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of magnetically coupled circuit in this particular problem we have asked to find out this i1 and i2 mesh currents now the first thing is we are going to replace this dot with a dependent voltage source okay so first of all to determine that one you have to know something about this dot how does this work okay now let's go ahead and draw this exact same circuit again and i'm going to show you how does this dot work okay let's put the line right here here we have two inductors and here we have another one okay this is our first inductor and then we have the second inductor and the dot is here dot is here and this dot is here okay if the dot is here the current is moving in this direction for this one okay through this inductor the current is flowing in this direction if the dot is here it means this current is moving in this direction okay that's all you have to know and if you put opposite like if you assume the mesh current in the opposite direction you are going to have negative negative because if it's like dot is like this we are going to have plus right here minus right here so if it's go through the minus we are going to have minus sign for the current right so that's all we have to know and also for this dot we are going to have plus minus right so it works like that now if we convert this one into dependent voltage source the things are going to be different now let's try this one through this question okay let's redraw this circuit because we are going to replace this dot with dependent voltage sources okay okay here we have this one and then we have two inductors this one is first one and here we have the second one and this is J2 and this one is 6J and here we have 5 ohm resistor and here we have a voltage source plus minus 160 degree and that's it right and also we have the this is the mutual inductance okay this one right here this is mutual inductance okay so when we convert this dot into voltage source we have to look what's happening right here so to to illustrate this one better we have to put this current so let's say this current is along if we say current is flowing through this way this is along the i1's direction right so we are going to have i1 minus i2 because i i2 is in the opposite direction of this one i2 then if we take this like if we convert this one this dot into voltage source dependent voltage source we have to see what's happening to this like when it goes through this dot what's going to happen right so from this one you can see this is leaving actually because the dot is after the inductor so this current is leaving if it's if the dot is here it's entering if the dot is after this one this is leaving it means we are going to have negative answer if it's leaving we are going to have negative answer so for this one what we have to put is we have to put negative first plus in that way when we take the mesh analysis for this one we are going to have negative voltage for this okay and the voltage source we are going to have is this one 3j that's our mutual inductance times this current i1 minus i2 and when we convert this dot into dependent voltage source we have to look what's happening here for this one this one is current entering because this inductor we have the dot before the inductor and it's along the current's direction so we can directly say this is 3j times i1 and that's going to be positive since we are getting the since we have the current direction in this way we have to put the plus here in that way when we do the mesh analysis for this one 
we are going to get the plus answer for like plus value for this dependent voltage so we have to put the plus right here and minus on top and this is going to be 3j i1 okay and that's all we have to know and after that we, we just have to do the like uh, kvl in order to find find out i1 and i2 okay now let's go ahead and do the kvl for the first mesh and kvl says that voltage in is equal to voltage out here we have 5 so voltage in is equal to 160 degree and then that is equal to voltage out that's going to be 5 i1 5 i1 then after that it's entering through this j2 so we are going to have plus j2 i1 and after that it's going through this dependent voltage source here we have negative so this is going to be negative because this is going from negative to positive so negative 3j i1 minus i2 and after that this is entering through this 6j but if you look at this 6j we have i this is i2 okay i2 is going in the opposite direction so we are going to have 6j i1 minus i2 and after that this current is going through this 3j i1 but this is negative right here right so we have to put minus 3j i1 okay that's it now let's try to simplify this one here we can take i1 common if we take i1 common this is going to be 5 plus j2 and here we are going to have minus 3j and after that here we are going to have plus 6j and after that we, here we are going to have minus 3j and that's it for i1 and then if we take i2 common the first thing we have is plus 3j because minus minus that's going to be plus plus 3j and then we have minus 6j minus 6j and that's it okay that's it now here we can add them together from this one you can see 3j 3j 6j cancels we are left with this one and here this is going to be just negative 3j okay so let's go ahead and simplify this one 160 degree is equal to i1 times 5 plus j2 plus i negative or instead of writing like this we can just directly write negative 3j i2 okay so this is the equation number one this is the equation number one now let's look at the second second mesh <coughs> second mesh we have this i2 is entering this 3j i1 and going from positive to negative so this is going to be plus plus 3j i1 and then this is going through the 6j so plus 6j i2 but i1 is going in the opposite direction so i2 minus i1 and after that okay i forgot to put this capacitor right here we have a capacitor right here and that is negative 4j and this current is going to go through this capacitance and that's going to be negative 4j i2 that should be equal to 0 okay let's try to simplify this one let's try to take the i1 common if we take i1 common this is going to be 3j and here we are going to have minus 6j and uh, if we take i2 common this is going to be 6j and minus 4j that's equal to 0 and if you add these two together this is going to be minus 3j i1 and this is going to become plus 2j i2 i2 that's equal to 0 so this is our second equation now you can use MATLAB to solve this problem in that way this will be much easier otherwise you have to do, do the this method Kramer's rule you can do the Kramer's rule so MATLAB okay I'm just going to leave it with the expression let's put it in a matrix form okay in the matrix form I1 the, for the first one we have I1 is 5 plus J2 and I2 is negative 3J and uh, for the second one we have negative 3J is our I1 and uh, I2 is 
2j okay 2j and then we have to just put this one in MATLAB i1 i2 and for the first okay one second okay for the first one for the first one the voltage is 160 degree for the second one it's zero right zero that's it now you have to put it in the MATLAB or you can find you can do it with uh, the grammar rules okay I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.